G'day mates, welcome to 2023. I thought we'd start this year off with a story from Joe Rogan. I was on a plane once and there was a guy behind me and I would hear, yeah. and I, I turned around and I was like, oh, this poor bastard. He was a big guy, like very overweight. And I mean, I was watching this guy lying there with his mouth open like this. Suffocating. For a long time. Yeah. And then finally he would jostle and catch some air. And uh, he woke up and I said, hey man. And I said, do you know you have sleep apnea? He's like, what do you mean? And I said, okay, I mean, let me tell you what's going on. And I showed him my mouthpiece. I'm mm. like, I have this thing that I have to sleep with. Cause it was a long flight we we're on. And uh, I said, you gotta go to a doctor, get that checked out. And he goes, oh, okay, thanks. I go, no, 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 really? Yeah. You gotta go to a doctor. I go, this is gonna, it'll change your life, man. It'll change your life, man. It might save his life also. That's an important point. Joe right there might have actually saved this guy's life. Now, the big fella on the plane is probably oblivious to the fact he has a problem. But Joe, obviously, he wears a mouthpiece. He has sleep apnea. But it takes some guts, don't you think, to turn to someone and, and say to them, hey, guess what? Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Good news. It's good news but I think he might have sleep apnea. You should definitely go and get it checked out at the doctor. And the guy goes, yeah, 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 cool, man, thanks for that. And he goes, no, that's the important part there. No, you really need to go and get that checked out. It's serious. All right, because a lot of people shrug this stuff off. Yeah, they go, sleep apnea, okay, snoring, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna show you some stuff this year which is gonna scare the living shit out of you. <laughs> and I wanna do that because, A, it's factual, it's real, all right, it is a big problem, but I want people to think of sleep apnea and, like they do cancer. All right, if you saw your wife had this mole and it was changing, then what would you do? Hey, you would make sure she goes to the doctor and gets it, it checked out, or if you felt a lump, same sort of thing, all right? You go, uh oh, emergency, I need to go and get this sorted. I want you to think of sleep apnea in the exact same way. How many people do you think, like partners, brothers, sisters, friends, know someone who has a problem? You know, they've seen them, they've heard that before, that textbook, mouth open, then they've seen it and then gone, you know, you stop breathing in the night and that's it. Nothing else. This year is the year I become absolute advocate for sleep apnea awareness, just like Joe. And every one of you watching, you're also advocates for awareness as well, especially those of you on CPAP machines. Bring it up at dinner. If you're having a dinner party with your mates, don't be embarrassed by it. I can guarantee you, probably half your mates have got sleep apnea as well. So start talking about it. And if you see somebody, you know, if you're camping with someone and they're snoring and they stop breathing, or you're over to mate's house, whatever it is, family member, just do what Joe did there. Anyway, guys, it's going to be a big year. Hope you all had a great party and uh, look after your mates. Cheers. G'day, mates. This video is sponsored by Sleep HQ. Upload, review, and share your detailed CPAP reports with anyone from anywhere. Visit sleephq.com and join our free community today.